All right, hey, 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 welcome to the attic. I am Manadad, walking on the treadmill, joined by my real life brother, Broby One Kenobi, frequent mythic drafter, and somebody who's been studying this cube, arena cube, a little more than I that have. That guy's good, but he seems that's your red aggro yeah. guy. Discarded card deals two damage. Yeah, I mean, he's indestructible. And, and he indestructible. He's how you curve out in the red. Yeah. Aggro deck. So you could take him. That Goblin Banner Net likely wheels. It's an okay red aggro pick. Now the Cloud Seer or whatever, that 2-2 two -two flyer that draws cards, gains life. That guy's obviously Bob Laser, good. yeah. He's in good in the, the control deck, but I think you want to hedge right off the bat to red or white on the mono builds to see if you can get them. Yeah. Like this has some... This is we have a couple something. red cards, yeah. Sram's expertise is good for the tokens deck. I think the, the tokens white. deck yeah, is that's good. Definitely, yeah, that's an aggro card too. Judith is not bad either. Right on the wheel, if we went red black aggro. Um, I guess inc incubation druid works with the plus. There's like a plus one plus one counter theme, right? Yeah, that's, so that, good that's green, ramp plus plus one plus white, one counters. Counter deck. Treasure that's map's good in almost any deck. But we'll we'll start off with Hazaret. Oh, Elder Gargaroth. That's another bomby bomb. Um, our only red card here is Sweltering Suns, three damage to each creature, which is more of a control. So here's where you're at. I think you might want to take the Duel or the Gilded Goose and look towards Edge Off. Maybe the Fabled Passage over the Duel. I don't know. The, I think you take the Blue-White Duel is valued pretty high. I think that's what LSV would take, to be honest with you. He likes that specific type where it doesn't enter the blue white either. control. Why don't you just take Gargaroth? Well, it's all that good. It's good. I guess it doesn't do anything the turn it comes down. It, there's just a lot, it's replaceable because there's other big green. Bomb drops. That's the I, idea. I would lean toward the Fabled Passage. Just I think it, you can go towards the Fabled Passage. Just early on, we don't know what colors we're going to be in. Well, it, it's bad for the the red aggro, but if you if you here's your field Again, of the red. dead. Field of the dead. I think you take that over everything else here. I think it's really powerful. You just it's going to steer you towards the, what else is here though in the green. There's nothing here that I see is that good. That's good. The Dragon Green Seeker, but that's not better than Field of the Dead. I mean, Bowser's Lieutenant's real solid. Well, in the green white token deck. Last Zone is some kind of removal. Finality is a little bit of removal. Yeah, Field of the Dead here. Is there a mill deck with Secret Keeper? Or is that just in for fun? Uh, there is obviously a mill deck that's hard to get to, like most. Well, Fabled Passage works nicely with Field of the Dead. It does, oh, absolutely. It's two, two lanes. Okay, now we got two good uh, the, red cards. You have a, your duel there, and then you just start taking, you just start snapping these duels, and you're hoping Dumping to around. get a. Uh, What's his face? Uh, Chromatic yeah, Lantern sure. fixes everything. It does. Yeah, it's a good five color, but it's really slow. And that's like the deadest ramp. I think you take the Stomping Grounds here, right? You could take the, the Scorch. I like removal in this format. But I think at I feel this like point, my mistake the, last you time, like the, with you take the the you, you'll get you'll get the Scorch is a replaceable card. You'll just take the duel here. I think. Okay. Your field of the dead. Don't think so. So what's the 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 white duel up top? The right. White black. It's the white black one. I mean, these seem like really good, right? If you're field of the yeah, dead, because yeah, yeah, certainly. they're basically an untapped land, and you get to you can run them almost like a. What are the other cards here that, that are good? Pack struggling. We bounce two creatures. 
it's a big kicker cost. It's really weak compared to what a well. So Healy's pretty effect. good if you're just building a spell stack. Yeah. yeah, I don't think you are though. I think you just take the door. Electromancer. I think the red blue spells might be open. There's Caloran too. There's the pathway. Cleansing Nova. Yeah, so I think you can take the Cleansing Nova here. We're in a land stack there. You think maybe. you'll be playing? Does, does doesn't this ramp deck want a whiteboard too? Like it, it kind of want to. Or the green blue duel is actually a really good one. What is the other? You want the green mixed duels, right? Because I think you want to base yeah, yourself green if you're if you're ramping. I think you can pass the Cleansing Nova if you want. Is your Oh, I think we've got to take, take it. it. I think we've got to take it. Okay. Lands are open right now, it seems like. There's scattered groves. Yeah. Um, what are we passing? Demonic Pact. I saw that get blinked by Yorion. And... Yeah, right I mean, there's, uh, there's, there's lots of ridiculous things you can do with that. Staggering Insight. That's how it plays. Good in an okay, aggro so deck. Can... So I think, yeah, your duel here is pretty good. I think the white aggro might be kind of open here. You're, you had a... a You've had easy choices on some of these duels where you're like not getting also the golden bombs, egg. But if you have the mana base to play everything when you get to pack three, you're gonna just start getting past bombs. If that's the there's branch lock, nice. There you go. Launch is solid. Now you need to start Very getting on. some some land stuff. This is my worry is that green seems to not Green's a bit cut. Yeah. Luther Hub, one man of any color. Not good. Laker of Waves is what you want here. I think you want the Laker of Waves. Laker of Waves. Okay. Just you need a big creature. It's going to scry. It's going to do what you want in the sort of decks if you have blue in there. Like an Essence There's Shadow a then? Like a... I think you take the Glacial Fortress. Right. Because you know you're kind of white and blue, likely more so than black. Black could be your cut color if you're playing four color here. Crazy deck we're building. So far. Okay. We got Balagad. Land or a regrowth. The land or a regrowth. Oh, that's the. Yeah, sure. That's... Uh, wilderness Reclamation? What do you take here? I death, don't know what you do with Wilderness for two Reclamation. Or it might crafter. fit your deck, right? Would Wilderness Reclamation end up being in a, a deck that. Once a bunch of land or something, you can counter spell in and playing stuff at the end of this it's, turn. Yeah, it's more know. for. I don't think you take Playcraft or you take Thassa's Oracle. Oh, well, it's or... too late. We just ran you're out not, of time. You're not black. So far, not playing into anything you would be doing. I'm gonna take the Electromancer just because that blue red spell seems to be open. Yeah, and there's Palorand. Came back. I've got a couple good blue red spells things here. If we need to switch into it, okay. So Finale of Devastation is a great ramp payoff. Karuga. Um, Giant so Dryad of Legion and Gross is your pick here. Pretty easy, I think. Because there's your fixing. I do like that finale, but... Just... Stay to the plan here. I think you're on it with the, yeah. with the Orona. Land, lands matter. What's that? The green indestructible god. You gotta have a big, another big creature, but then it's yeah, death touch indestructible. Ooh. What else is here in green? Not that great. Keep Ten, going. Well, tender shoot dryads. Is, tender shoot dryads is straight up bomb. I'm just gonna yeah, serve that bomb, one. Isn't he? Temple of Mysteries is tap land. I'm not as excited about that. Yeah, I just think you take start, Rocks, get, start getting your bombs in here. You you have Gondis. maybe a sapling sub theme if you can get into green. That that guy's good. That that black guy, right? Dante, I think so. Yeah, wall of text. When he enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of the target opponent's library. Exile he one of them face down. You look at it and cast that card for as long as it remains exiled. So yeah, yeah. It, it's pretty good. In That's the format, pretty good in this yeah. format because everybody's just. I mean, you, bombs. you could you could have taken it there. I think it's. Well, Tender Shoot, this is just a must answer card. 
I've lost it. So you have the the Jade Jade White is pretty good here for your deck, I think. Yeah. Is it better than the Mammoth? It's Probably. gonna ba bang on curve and kind of do what you want. It's gonna be a body and exploring seems to be. It's not that good. We got settle the wreckage too, which is another board wipe. Yeah, that's another board wipe for sure. Mm. Um, I think. In theory, you're. I think I'd rather have Settle than Jade Light. Jade Jelly Light? So, you, are you thinking you're going to be green, blue, white? Maybe. Kind of, your, your red's bant, looking. Bant, you uh, could play ramp red or... here. Let's look, here's Lyra. That's a great card. I don't know how great Lyra is. It's good, but it's not like as in flying first strike lifelink. The lifelink lifelink's really good, yeah, in this format, I think. Huh. What is the white card? The approach of the approach second to the second sun. That's like a control finish your thing. You gotta last a I bunch of turns. I think that might fit your deck actually pretty well. Because it's like you're going to ramp up to it. And then if you can get the, the blue draw stuff and get back to it a little bit faster, right? You win. Uh, well, so I think, that was I think it might wheel. Pick. I think it might wheel. Here's Escape to the Wilds is great for a ramp. Uh, I think that I've seen that just like go last pick. It's really well, We also got value. a Legion Karyotid here. We need some stuff at the lower CMCs. Yeah, you Lake, need some stuff to come in and, and ramp you and get terrible. down and like go to that... You're still not pack three, so you're not like trying to get out of your build here. So I think you're green, blue, white, and you need to sort of hedge off the rest of the stuff, and then maybe you can get a fourth color in there, like red. The birth of Melodus is good. So I think you can take the feather if you thought you had a. What's? Oh wait, no, that's not. That's a builder that's not, more. The feathers. Those white red spells. Um, Sunwing is pretty decent. I think I like the Midnight Clock or the Birth of Melodus. You can take your Midnight Clock here. I think it's power more powerful than Birth of Melodus in general. If you're playing green, blue, white. So what's that big blue? The, the Gear Hulk. What's yeah. It? And then there's the battlefield. You can cast target instant from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. That's good. I mean, five six flash cast an instant. I don't know that we have. I feel like you're bomb at instant, this point. So. They're boon the wish giver is an okay card for this format too. I think. What is the the green push. enchantment do? What's that green enchantment branching? Branching evolution. It doubles up counters. No, grab the green girl. Yeah, girl. Huh? I think the boon wish giver would have made a play too. Uh, Thassa's intervention. Lunus Preserver. I like Kior for ramp and draw. There's picks here. The Wildborn Preserver. You think you're you're not a Kiora deck, I don't think. Oh, I got a lot of bomb big creatures. You do. And it's gonna untap stuff. Okay, sure. So. Like Karuga. Eora is a nice one two punch here. Or do we take the land? Uh the land I don't I think you could take you can take creatures if you want at this point. I think you're kinda of trying to figure out what your back end finisher is, but I don't think you could okay, there's here's where you take well Mythos of Luna's an okay card too. I don't have a lot of removal. I don't have like any removal, I think. You don't? I think you take your scry land here, maybe. The, uh, board wipes, I guess. There's Thassa. We just take uh, another land here. Do you have enough blue to get Thassa going? I think Thassa's fine. Yeah. I don't know if we'll make your deck, though. The approach wheel. Here's your approach of the second sun that I thought fit the we'll, green we'll blue. Grab it just in case. Play claim. Sure. Why not? 
and the hollow blade, I guess. Feather in the, in the combo. Feathers and boon. There's your boon. Boon walled hydra. Right, sweet. Power and toughness each equal to number of lands. That's your field of the dead. Uh, you've been waiting for him. That's your pick. What else is here, though? Just select it. The Ranger of Eos is not terrible. The, the, the hydra is so good for this deck because it grabs the field of the dead oh, out of your prism. deck and puts it into play. It's just impressive. Like that's exactly what you wanted to get. Like you were waiting dome. for that card to come to you. It's like that's the door the reason. Slash and it's just like a, dragon. a fat bomb when that happens. Rod is pretty good too for a land stack. Yeah. yeah, the hydra is the best card. You like been waiting. Now you need uh, if you could get um, Ooh, Ember Cleave. Ember Cleave. <laughs> I mean, not really an Embercleave deck, but. It's insane, though, still. If you were green, if you didn't, weren't playing white, you would take Embercleave here. That's Elvish really Reclaimer good lets us grab yeah, the Field that's of the really Dead good, also. Yeah, because that hits your Field of the Dead, too, right? Yeah. Does it do any land, or it's a land card, yeah. Yeah, sacrifice yeah, that's, land, grab That's fantastic. Land. You can just go out and early on grab Field of the Dead and get it rolling. Let's see. I don't know if this Field of the Dead deck is that good. Here's Wayward Sword Chief now. War Oracle of Mandiah. Jeez, which one do you take? Uh, that card. The Oracle of Mandiah is the bomb. That's that's insane. That's what you want. Oracle of Mandiah. Way better. Way better. Better than a 5-5? Five five? Yeah. Yeah, it's a sin, though. It, it, the 5-5 five five part doesn't matter in this format as much as you think. Ogle would it's be just, nice to wield that. Dice to remove or wipe. It doesn't matter. By Zero Menagerie is another cast yeah. stuff from the top of your library. Yeah, I and mean, those are always good effects. Now, you do have a Skittering Surveyor, so you have that, you have an Ooze, you have some other stuff here. Red Crown Pathways. You think we can wield with some of these? I think you just take the Vinzir here because it's pretty good for the deck. Yeah. Okay. Archon's pretty good for you. Vivian's removal. Um, I'm not a Vivian expert because I haven't played all the Vivian a whole bunch, so I don't know how good. well it plays Big out. It's pretty powerful. I think Brontodon is just solid removal. The problem for a three color would be that Brontodon on curve is a tough ask, maybe. Lots of good artifacts and enchantments in this format. I think your, your takedown is an interesting, that and Vivian. And then. Yeah, Vivian. Order is here. Oh. Just land a war ramp. Wait, so he gives four plus one plus one counters? Yeah. So it's eight power toughness when it comes down. For five mana. Four, four that's way missing. more powerful than all the other five drops you've been looking at and trying to get. Or glass that's a, mimic, that's, which a, is a that's just a big powerful creature. Elspeth's Conquer deck. curve is, is pretty really thick, though. We don't have like hardly anything. I think you take Elspeth's Conquer deck is also an arguable pick too, because that's really that's very good removal. But I ran out of time there. What did it? Pick? I, I did need one and two drops, so Angel of Sanction. This is this is removal. Yeah, it's a really good card. That's good. It's a powerful card. And you also have a duel there. Yeah. The tap land though, so I, I think I really need removal. I could take a Temple of Deceit. What is the cosmic? What is? Do you have any counterspell stuff? Usually, this deck wants a counterspell. Commit to memory. Just put so just put something back on top of the library, and then you can wheel. And ooh, okay. So we got the Rootbound Crag or Rada. Oh, your your red is not. I think red's cut for you. So also lets me play lands from the top of the library. Try. I think I have enough duels that I can play it. You know. And I can pick up the steam vents here. I could play hazard too. What is that? The There's legendary the creature. Wizard. No, what's the legendary creature? Rush green me. blue. Uh, it's good. It's just draw. Yeah, but it, grab it. I mean, green blue. Why don't you just take over it? the wizard? Right. I 
and then a draw land. We got a counter, just a counter spell. I think you take the neutralize. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. With that. People are going to be tapping out to get to their stuff. Ezzeret. That's the form that can just get out of control if it's not dealt with. Two seconds. Oh, it's over it. And a woodland cemetery or. Draw two cards. Cycle. I think the draw stuff is okay yeah. for these control decks. Okay. I've got an abundance of stuff to choose from here. Hence the the plan on taking the lands early. You saw like when you were able to get three colors down there on the last pack, like you just like have access. Let's to look at the lands we have stuff. so far. So. Well, I don't think you're playing red, so you can kind of get the red stuff out. But you could play red. I mean, it's an argument. I think you need to play Rada. The Temple of Deceit, if we're going to cut a land, that's a tap land. It's a spry land, There's one color that we want. Um, events. Yeah, I think he had a pretty good mana base for three colors, to be honest with you. Lands. It feels also really good. Valigad, recovery. So, obviously, you get rid of stuff off color, like, that you, I mean, you could play four color. So the, only, the only thing I'm splashing yeah. red is right now is Rada. Well, you have the ability to play red, so you could just put your other red card in. Hazaret. Yeah. And then you can get rid of some weaker stuff. You can leave the that red. That wants me to empty my hands. Huh? Can empty my hands. I guess you could play with the. I don't. I don't think Hazard. I actually would think Playcraft. Not, Playcrafter really is actually better to, to splash because Playcrafter is almost yeah, always well, going to take down something. I guess I'm unless gonna, I'm going to take a check on right here for a little bit. I'll let okay. you narrow this down. But I would say you're trying to ramp, protect yourself whiteboard and get to those back end bombs, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the game plan. I want some two drops on the board, but there's for now it's okay. How many? Not really playing. They're like I got two instants and three sorceries before I even get all my cuts. All my sorceries are board wipes. All right. I think that's gonna do me much good. Saving's gonna pull creatures and lands, it's gonna destroy artifact enchantments of creatures. Yeah, that seems alright. Aim is a wish there. Good, but do I need it? Also here, Hulk. We don't have the only instant we might want to flash in is settle the wreckage. Interesting combo. Got it for now. Cycles. So this seems pretty good. One more cut. Cut that. That's removal. I was good. And this is Vivian's good. Just cut Faruga. You could actually go. Faruga as a companion, and we would lose all these. Is that crazy? 
back in the cycling cards. What are you settling in on? Uh, this build right here. So I got three ways to tutor up the Field of the Dead. With? I got Elvish Reclaimer, the Ovenwald Hydra, mm -hmm. and no, one more. Those are like the only two that I think that are in the format. I think you got both. Well, anyways, there's ways to, of, lots uh, of ways to play lands uh, what's off the, the deck, top of the artifact creature? I, why am I blinking on the base? Golos, yeah, we didn't card. get Golos. Golos. I didn't see Golos. You missed the Golos. As Golos was a card that Golos would have been great here. Early, you're hoping to get, but 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 you just a few early drops. And um, do you you feel like those planeswalkers, this planeswalker build around is strong? Which one, Vivian Reed? Well, you have a couple of planeswalkers. We have Vivian and Kiora and Rada, so you're kind of shifted your deck to be a planeswalker deck. Rada's so... not a planeswalker. Kiora, Vivian, and Tezzer I took out. Oh, okay. Because his zero is What's like if you have to control a lot of artifacts. Rada's main. Rada, this is uh, three three that lets you play lands off the top of your library, and then you can okay, make it huge right. because it gets plus X plus X, where X is the number of lands you control. Yeah, okay. I, I mean, it's, it kind of stinks that that doesn't have yeah. trample. This doesn't have trample. Like it would have been nice to get equipment that gave trample. Yeah, but or it something. doesn't really. So you're trying. You're gonna at some point. There's a decent chance you're trying to wipe the board. I think your draw stuff is actually pretty good for the deck. I think draw your deck wants to incorporate draw and counter spell to well, we've got net solve neutralize the meta to get to the late game. Um, but I don't know if you got the draw stuff that you want. I've got a couple draw spells, but they're you have a couple of draw spells. The so six mana draw four. Right, and even the cycling on bone is fine. Like for these decks, I mean, I even took out to the meta. gear hole. I think that's what I. Like yeah, Gearhulk's good if you're cycling. I don't. I just don't have that many instants, you know. Right. No, I don't think it's great. If it's it casts flash. sorceries, if it casts sorceries, is good. I mean, it it can redo settle the wreckage. That's about the only. I guess it can redo neutralize. So it can be a second counter spell. Yeah. So I mean, you can flash it in. Right, and it could play Settle the Wreckage out of your graveyard or something like that. that. Better but than you don't have any other instance. Just to grab their best thing. What you, what you have to answer yourself is how will you deal with the aggro decks, and then how will you deal with the other decks that are going to... I mean, I got two board wipes. That's board my wiping. strategy for the aggro decks, basically. Let's try it. it. Yeah. Playing some Arena Cube. Gonna try to get out Field of the Dead. I don't think he ended up being a Field of the Dead deck. I mean, it's a late game strategy, obviously. Yeah. It's great to white boards and get creatures off land. But... Up against Gona 6 9. Here we go. We got Nightville Sprite. We got a Legion Carry Audit on two. Seems good. I'd ramp into Waker of Waves. Um, I may as well play this tapped. Yeah, you don't have to play. Branch left, I'm probably going to want to play on white to be sure I can hit that Cleansing Nova. On an ops. What's your Night Veil Sprite doing in the deck? Just I had like no two drops. <laughs> I mean it's a it's a flyer that can threaten planeswalkers and it can surveil. It's not great. No. Hmm. Good night. 
play that and Night Vale Sprite. You can play Midnight Clock and Midnight Night Vale Sprite, is that what you're saying? Yep, I will. I think I shall. Yeah, it's whenever it attacks it surveils, actually. That's, that can be very good. Surveil us right to what we need. No blocks. So I think you can kind of bait out this board with that cleansing Nova, right? Yeah, I think so. We entered the oh, late game with midnight clock. That. Well, you can play that planes and then remove the Brontodon. Can you sack the Brontodon? The sanctions? Can go sanctions? Should I, should I attack and surveil first, I guess? Yeah, I guess you can do that first. See what we got coming up. Rada. So we don't have a way to play Rada, right? All Actually, right. we can with the... Um, as long as our plant survives one more turn. Yeah, I guess you can. Although, it's probably going to get board wiped. Right. Oh, but if we put it in the graveyard, then they'll eat it with the... Um, the ooze. Yeah. Tricky. He can't eat it this turn. Well, it doesn't matter as much. If he wants to burn a mana eating it and you're going to wipe the board, it doesn't really matter. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You know, but he's he's playing blue, so he could have a counter spell, you know. He or she. Could be a female under the name Gone69. As uh, strange as that sounds. Now what happens if I put down a Vivian? Do they attack Vivian next turn? I think on the chance Vivian survives, and then I can Cleansing Nova. Well, wouldn't you have wanted to put the Rod on top and grab it with the Vivian? Well, I didn't think I had that far. You can't stop nature. There's a stomping ground, so now I could have cast the Rada. I get Scattered Groves. I can theoretically board wipe and cycle. I want to have the decision here. I'm going to sell out to kill Vivian. They're going to, yeah, they're going to pump the ooze by eating my graveyard. Yeah. Okay, that. I mean, if he does play out a... Yeah, I got one creature. So he's keeping the land open to to kill the midnight, midnight clock. clock. Um, yeah, four cards in hand. You could play the Waker of Waves in theory. He's gonna drop his whole board down. You have to play your land, right? Uh, oh, like your land tap comes land. In play tap. Yeah, but I can surveil. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. We got this land coming up. I guess we just want try to get into land so that we can get Waker of Waves. On curve.
we do we try to get another threat? Tap it for land. Play the tap land. Oh wait, did I ever play land? Next block. Okay. Finish the combat step first. I the damage there. There's the tap land. Let them get in one turn of attacking. Are they going to blow up the Bronto now? Can chump out the ooze, I guess. I didn't play out any creatures. Interesting. They got a counter spell. If, it, if they did, it's a uh, creature spell, counter spell. That should be. I guess I should have attacked first. Spell. Oh. Yeah, I don't know about this Waker of Waves. If they had Thrix, that's what they. <laughs> I guess it's well, it didn't matter that I didn't attack. Just wipe that out. But I like an Angel of Sanction that Thrix. Get one of these guys in paper. Oh, they made their own. Look at that. Can I cast this and still leave up neutralize? It's not. Ugh. That's painful. Really need that other mana for neutralize. <sighs> that 
Let's go to the bed. Chump block. Go down to one. Oh, it loses all abilities. Oh, I'm dead. They got me. That was the other land I needed. Okay. Well, that did not play out how I wanted. I guess I should have attacked with that Night Bell Sprite, drawn out the Thrix. If I'd known Thrix was a possibility. Oh yeah, we're playing best of one. Well, I was looking forward to the rematch on that. We should have played best of three. But maybe best of three, the lands thing gets better. But carry out we can't catch, but we cast. But we got season Hallowblade, and we got settle the wreckage. Hopefully, if we found the land, I can keep it. Done. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Getting all our two drops. Opponent thinking hard. Got a shock in hand. They want to kill the season Hallowblade. I think that's okay. We could dump the Wild Hydra. Okay. That rage was some reckless recklessness. They're worried about us ramping into something big, I guess. Potential 5 drop next turn. I don't know, we've only got a 6 drop in hand. More visionary, sure. We get a 5 drop. Oh. Keep that land. White, red, green, known as Naya. N A Y A. Naya opponent. I wonder if it would have been. We could have settled ourselves, I guess, after damage is dealt. Is that crazy? And then had Ovenwald next turn. They get lifelink. Okay. The booster. Oh. 
can destroy the Gilded Goose or destroy the Crystalline Giant, I think. Oh, we don't have the green. Oh. That's too bad. We're definitely keeping that. Block. It's a giggity goose. The giant got that here. Thoughtful, thoughtful opponent. One more green and we're in, we're in business. It does have cards in hand. Okay, Aurelia. That's a good reason to hold back the saddle. <laughs> We knew we could get a green. Maybe we should have scried away the Field of the Dead. It's available the way. Okay, now it's flying. I'm gonna come in with the goose and the giant. That block. I guess, yeah, I'll just hold up Settle for the next turn. Last turn. Well, it's really got plenty of mana already. Okay. Yep, it's going to be good. Don't think too hard about it here. I'll have to give you all your basic lands from your whole deck. Okay, so we didn't get the mana dorks. Thinking about it, maybe a mentor. Part of the player. That was good. The power of the board wipe in this format. See if we can get our first win here. I'm just going to have all the mana in the world. Next turn. I've got two cards in hand. We can theoretically play something that costs three right now. Maybe four if they didn't make a land drop. No, they made a land drop. I have a brush fire element. I haven't even had haste. Okay, so they were kind of playing around. Um, Owl Blade. Getting with the sprite so we can see neutralize. No, we just need something that gives us green mana.
We'll walk our other two cards. Coming in. They have a way to put their land in. I regret that trade. I think I wanted to trade Vivian at the bottom, okay. Great play. Oh. We can grab a hold of that. Probably should have attacked first to see what we had coming up. Oracle of Moldaya. Let's just play lands from the top of our library. <sighs> uh, I guess we get some advantage out of that. Yeah, it puts us another turn away from giving getting one of these guys down. We're okay on board. It's gonna take a while for our opponent to build back up. Okay, we're to Dragonfire. Still a good trade for them. Our seven drop for their two drop, although I guess they also lose their three drop. They still got two for one. Oracle of Moldezi. That in. We finally make a token. We do! Woohoo! And we can play another land. Make another token. And. Let's just put that one. Very good. Oh, now we're gonna get another land. Nice. All right, do I need to cut off that mic? <laughs> How do I mute? How do I mute Derby? Yeah, you heard it. <laughs> All right. The domestic scene. Oh, opponent conceded. Well, that settle really uh, nailed them. They put a lot of eggs in that basket. So we did win a game. We won a game. So we've got no way to play Rada. We can turn one Elvish Reclaimer, however. We can turn three Kiora. I think that's I think that's a good start. Up against Splin Turbican. We can't turn three Kiora actually. These are both tap lands. But the temple will help us scry into something.
Uh, yeah. I think they block here. There's no one green combat tricks they should be that as scared of, but they they are. Cautious. We couldn't block them anyway. Of the God Pharaoh. Hmm. Yeah. I think we need white mana. Uh, this plan. Not quite as a source or anything. I have to grab it. Walkers. A good aggro card. Planes. I can get any land actually. Got a grove. I'm going to steam vents. We're playing untapped. We just cure here. Rakshmi. We can get into a land, we can Angel of Sanction. If not, we can Rada. Right, up, yeah. We could also just Cleansing Nova. This lets us play Hallow Blade. Uh, pass that. Oh, on green or white? I think we need white. Right? We need double pips. Next, huh? coming with the buzzer as well. I don't want to deal with that right. Central Sanction does that, okay. Right, so luckily they didn't get in with their Basri, so let's just take out the right. Ashmi. 
in this. No, we don't have good attack, so let's just pass the turn. And steal that Mangara. To go a long way towards getting us back in the game. Oof. Okay. Well, now we have an incentive to board wipe. Okay, so they're not. Let's go ahead and turn this island into the island. Did not get a land, but we cannot play our two drop. I want to attack because they have a life linker, so let's just wipe the board here. Play all creatures. I'll get a card off there in your locker room. We have a lot of cards in hand and a lot of mana. They have one card in hand, and a decent amount of mana. We are at a low life total. We use our life linker. Oh wait, did I have enough to Elvish Reclaimer again? Oh. Wasn't gonna make me a Zombo. Okay. Our opponent has a big hand. What do we play out first? Wash me Periodid, I guess. We could also Kiora into a Reclaw. Things would be said for Rada in. Try and get more lands down. Not missing a land drop this turn. So it gets more power and toughness on the board. That. That's what I think. Desperately need to. Uh, can they see that? No, they can't. Your doesn't do me any good. So Or, even though we don't have a land on top. Oh well. Someone could have a lot of tricks up their sleeve here. Cycling, that's a good start. Okay. okay. And. Good. Oh. So that's crew three. Creature that comes up in opponent controls. Did not get a land once again. I guess we can't see the land with the Rada. I think we just have to get the life linker down. We're gonna attack with that potentially next turn. <sighs> okay, non-land permanent. I guess we'll take we'll take the life. Oh, 
buying more cards. Well, it is a sign of desperation. I'm even charting a course before. I guess they're not going to attack with my 3 4. If they play a bomby bomb, we can lay claim to it. And an angel. We don't have enough to lay claim to it. Darn it. I'll make it a 5-5 five, five so that I wouldn't trade with Lyra. I'll probably make it more than a 5-5. Five, five. No, they'd need 12 mana. This has life link now. Yeah, I guess it does attacking. And not four life. Even if they crack me back for four or six. They're gonna do what they can to get that Lyra. Okay, yeah, that's the Lyra. If they crack me back for four. Six. And Shadow Spirit Beast. Don't quite have enough to. Deep doo doo here. Oh, it slowed us down quite a bit. Hmm, Valley Good Recovery. Again, we're just stuck on mana. And they made another. Ooh, is there a way out of this? Try to Balagad back. I'll try to get into a flyer here with Rashmi. We need a spell with lesser converted mana cost though, so we'd need to drop a three drop. Again, we're just one mana short. Um, let's try oh, under the colors. Cyclists. There's the land. Can I figure out a way to stop? Nova, all too expensive. Anything? I think there's fruit. Oh god. Between that and the Shadow Spear. That was really a, uh, a blowout there, bouncing three of our most expensive things. One and two. Not having luck in this format. I think we need more removal. Seven mana skill event something. It's great removal, but jeez. Oh, Two double whites. We have this oracle. And opponent's going first. No luck here. Oh. 
Uh, I'm gonna Morgan. He's better. He's at least get us off to a start. Put the Hydra on the bottom for now. Uh, we probably could have ramped into it, but hopefully we'll draw something else to ramp into. Turn one, one more. Kill it. Okay. Um, so we could turn to Kiora. Or just get down a Legion Carry Out in. I need to get some blues. Okay. Collector coming in, no blocks. That decides us playing this on white. And oh yeah, actually. What are we more scared of? Not their land drop, so let's just take the pelt collector. Two there. Don't quite have the way to tap that for two. Oh, five, six mana next turn. We get cure potentially up plus some mana. Something small enough. There we go. Sure. I land. Okay, they're gonna. Huh. I think we'll just counter that. He's kind of low on lands. Let's go with Maya. Um, it lands off the top, I guess, is good. Doesn't really fit with our board right now. Um, so I could untap that. I have one, two, three, five, six, seven. Three other power off the board there. Ooh, Chandra. This one. Give me card advantage or some mana. Or the damage to target creature. Nice. Don't just hate that front yeah. now. I can embalm this. To take out Chandra. Seems decent. I 
to drop this. Find something on the top of the library. Take that Chandra. Like there are ways you can untap it with Kiora. Probably chump block or something because the annex it just gives them a one one one. So it'll be a zero one. But, so thank you. Even whether they want to concede, maybe. I think they're an aggro deck, and I think we pretty well stalled them out. Yeah. Oh, Collector wasn't going to be much of a factor. The ocean surges life thrives. Like this is when we'll draw a card. They can see it. Two and two. Can we get a 500 record with this deck, maybe? That was pretty good, because we mulliganed to six that last game, and, uh, and we were on the draw against an aggro deck, but luckily they did not get the best draw themselves and fell out. Again, he's giving us these double white pips without the lands to play them. I think we should be playing more planes in our deck. Hopefully draw a third thing which lets us get to Rashmi. This is such a thing. I think we don't have white so we'll just up the Hallow Blade. The Nightbell Sprite's gonna get us there. Not what I'm looking for. We had that in hand so we could cycle it. So our ramp deck missed the third land. Killer. Opponent's got the third land. We got fixing down. A woe strider, okay. One but not the end of the world. Wow. Come on. There's the land, okay. But now. We'll take our beats. All we really need is white, I think, <laughs> to get back into this game. See how we, we can avoid committing too much to the board. It be difficult. It would be very difficult. We can't even get in for an attack. We'll take some big hits here. Also, it's Blast Zone. Yeah, we had different mana this game. Which is like, sure, why not? Use up your removal. They must have a lot of removal in hand. They don't care. They don't even care. And. 
to be able to play lands from the top of our library. I don't have much choice. Gotta get to that double white. We need two planes right off the top. There they are. Wow. What do you know? Did we survive here though? I guess we chump with the Oracle. Okay. That's just Oh, they should have gone face, but anyway. Yep, well, that's game. Alright, well. What do you think? Should we have played best of three? We got in five games, went two and three. That's better than I've done before in this dumb cube, which I think is well designed to you. Pick your, uh, pick your gold. I think I got Gospel Mimic. Alright, well, if you watch this far, leave a hashtag Waker of Waves or, uh, or hashtag Behemoth Beckoned for that one game where we uh, really stomped with Kiora and the Waker of Waves. And uh, until the next time, remember Magic is a game so fun, even dads can enjoy it. Catch you later.